Nobody wanted a pandemic to come crashing down upon Idaho. With the information I had at the time, uh, I, I believe we did the right thing. Idaho Governor Brad Little is opening up about his handling of the COVID pandemic. In an exclusive interview, CBS 2 Scott Logan asked the governor about his actions in the early days of the pandemic and about the criticism he's gotten for some of the bills he signed this past session. Republican legislative leaders spent the longest session in state history trying to curb a governor's ability to act in an emergency such as the pandemic. Watered down bills of previous hard edged proposals eventually emerged, which Governor Brad Little signed. You do not feel that the governor's power has been diminished to act? No, I, I, I think we preserve that. Republican lawmakers were upset with Governor Little for not including them in the initial response to COVID in March 2020, but the governor said he had to act and act quickly in the face of such great deadly unknowns. You know, the science on COVID is different, way different today than what it was to begin with. You know, we thought it was gonna run through this uh, younger population. We didn't think it was gonna be as onerous to older people. We didn't know how it spread, whether it was aer aerosol or whether it was droplet. With the information I had at the time, uh, I, I believe we did the right thing. Uh, I know we saved lives. Is there anything you would have done differently? Oh yeah, but I, with the information what? I had, probably not. Well, one of the issues that you and I talked about uh, last year was how slow the unemployment uh, benefits went out, but we didn't have any choice there given the, you know, the federal government created a great big program and we didn't have an infrastructure for it. I asked the governor about one of the contentious issues from the past session, extreme right-wing GOP members holding up education funding until a bill banning the teaching of critical race theory in public schools was passed. It passed and the governor signed the bill. And now uh, the uh, lieutenant governor's formed a task force to, I guess, uh, you know, search out communists and Marxists and um, uh, critical race theorists in education. Uh, if you're a teacher, you can't feel too good about that. Even the people on the floor that carried the bill said this isn't a problem in Idaho. And it was the tenor of the debate, and I'm, that's why what I talked about in my signing letter, that I wasn't comfortable with uh, accusing, uh, you know, big swaths of Idaho educators as being more concerned in some of those issues than they were in, in educating our children. Governor Little has been criticized for signing that bill, as well as Senate Bill 1110, which made the citizens' initiative process harder, although the governor says not as hard as opponents would make out. I fully expect, and it's being litigated right now, uh, it's got a court challenge to it. We'll see what happens there. The battle against COVID has turned in favor of human beings for now, and the governor says all Idahoans, regardless of politics, should be proud of how Idaho has rebounded. Scott Logan, CBS2 News. But Governor Little says Idaho's low vaccination rates continue to be a concern for him and his health advisors.